gmail.com. We're in Evansville, Indiana, awaiting a press conference with uh, uh, Sheriff uh, Dave Wedding of Vanderburg County, Indiana, uh, who will brief the uh, media on the capture of Casey Cole White yesterday. And he's about to step to the mic. yesterday an Evansville police officer who was just doing his good diligence of patrolling and, and being smart noticed the vehicle in the parking lot of the hotel and notified us immediately so the task force members got together they drove down there set up surveillance on the hotel soon thereafter the two suspects exited the hotel and fled out of the hotel parking lot northbound on US Highway 41, turned in at an industry known as Anchor here in Evansville. They went through the parking lot, went through a grass field. The members of the US Task Force basically rammed the vehicle and pushed it into a ditch. And we later found out, had they not done that, the fugitive was going to engage in a shootout with law enforcement. So by our quick thinking, our actions, sometimes people may call that a necessary action, but that action may have saved many of my deputies and fellow law enforcement officers' lives. And that's why I represent the Sheriff's Office. I want to bring my people home, and I don't care about the fugitive's lives if it protects my people's lives. And here, I commend them for a job well done. They knew they were going up against a dangerous felon, a murderer, and we have photos of the weapons that were located in the vehicle. There were at least four handguns, semi-automatics, nine millimeters, and this is known as an AR-15, which shoots a 223 caliber round. So any one of these weapons could have been used to ambush our officers while they were attempting to capture a murder suspect. So I commend them for the quick and aggressive action. They probably saved a lot of chaos by doing quick action there. Once the vehicle crashed, the female suspect shot herself. 
the male suspect gave up when we approached the vehicle. They were both taken out of the vehicle. Uh, Life-saving measures was attempted on the female, but she suffered a grave injury and subsequently died at the hospital last night. Uh, we interviewed the suspect for quite some time. I don't want to get into all the details of that because some of that may be used against him, but we have him presently in our Vandenberg County Jail. He signed a waiver of extradition to go back to Alabama. I've notified the sheriff there, and they are going to make arrangements to pick the suspect up and return him to the state of Alabama. Due to safety and security measures, we won't be divulging that to you. It won't be a public spectacle. When he leaves, they'll go out to a hidden exit, and, and it won't be for public display. So we won't divulge the date and time when the Alabama authorities take the prisoner back to Alabama. Once again, I can't shout out enough praise to all the law enforcement here in our community for the hard work that they do. Uh, the task force, I was asked by a member of the media this morning if this was like an odd occurrence. And it's certainly not an odd occurrence. We arrest dangerous felon subjects every single week. We've been involved in multiple shootings in this community. We shot people we've been shot at. So this is law enforcement. This is today's law enforcement. It's a very dangerous occupation. So I hope the public realizes what we do is dangerous and we have to take action to protect ourselves so each and every one of these five men and women go home to their family and their loved ones and we don't let the criminal win the war. So I, I appreciate you being here. That pretty well wraps up what I have to say. We have multiple members here. If anybody wants to add to what I said, we want to do that. If anybody has questions you want to ask off this, go ahead. Yes, uh, two questions, Sheriff. First of all, we know that Vicki White had $90,000 in cash with her. Have you located that money? Yeah, we got a photo. Here's, they had about $29,000 left over. Here's a picture of the money that was left in the vehicle that, that we counted last night after we inventoried the vehicle. And so. my second question, sir, James, the owner of, or the manager of the car wash, first of all, police about the truck, will he be receiving the $25,000? Now, I don't know anything about it. Is there anyone here who can address that? I mean, it seems like he's sort of solved it. And I would, but that would be something that we'll deal with. Right now, that's not on the How did they get the F-150 in the Cadillac? What's that? How did they get the F-150 in the Cadillac? They purchased the F-150 and uh, drove it here. And where they got the Cadillac, I'm not sure at sure. this point. Sure. Do you have any idea what, what they were doing here for? Well, I think he said that he was just trying to find a place to hide out and lay low. And they thought, you know, they'd driven long enough. They wanted to stop for a while get the bearings straight and then figure out their next place to travel. Do you get any indication that they were visiting anyone potentially at this hotel? No, or that we don't know? believe they have any relatives, friends, or acquaintances in Evansville, Van County. Is there any dash or body camera video of the incidents yesterday? There may be some uh, dash or, or body camera video. We, we haven't got that far yet for examining the release. What about surveillance from the hotel? And there may be, but, but like I said, but that's a lot further into our investigation. Sheriff, did we speak to James Stinson who called apparently on Tuesday to report not only the truck but also the unseen images of Casey White with tattoos on his arm and was told there's nothing we can do right now. It's not reported as a stolen vehicle. Those were his words. Why did it take so long to get a response? Well, okay. I'll let the police shoot at you. So I'll back up just a little bit. On May 2nd, we had an officer on the evening of May 2nd uh, proactively driving through lots and he was running plates just to see if they were stolen. He actually was the first one to run this plate on the evening of May 2nd and it didn't come back stolen, didn't return anything. On May 4th, we got the call to the car wash and the first officer went out and the caller was not on scene when the officer was there. We do have body camera footage of the officer running the plate, uh, looking in the car, he ran the VIN number and then he left because it was an abandoned vehicle that we can't tow that. It, it would have to be uh, 48 hours at the owner's request of a place before we can tow it off private property. But the owner of a residence can choose to have it towed on their own. Uh, he called back a couple hours later and 
uh, had not seen the officer on scene, so we sent another officer back out, met with him. The second officer that went out also ran the info and explained the process to him that we would have to wait 48 hours before we could tow it, but if he wanted to tow it on his own, he could. And that's when they told the vehicle was on May 4th after that second run. Um, from everything we've, we've seen, there was no mention that this was connected to Alabama. Uh, on the 911 gives hope, or 911, I'm sorry, 911 audio, there was no mention that it was connected to Alabama. So at that point last week, there was no tie at all to this being involved with anything out of state. There was no mention to it being connected with them. So it was just an abandoned vehicle for us at that point. Did Casey like explain why he stopped at the car wash? No, there's no reason. He just kept pulling there. Can you clarify the 14 day stay? They were only gone for about 11 days, but you said a 14 day stay? He had paid for 14 days to stay at the hotel. You paid in advance? What's that? You paid yes, in advance? yes. Sheriff, did he give you any sense of an end game? Did they have um, somewhere they were headed? Say that again? Did he give you any sense of an end game, a place that they were headed to? No. No, they said they were just uh, trying to contemplate where they could go and kind of be discreetly away from the public side. Did she? Have any disguises? Did he have any disguises with him? Uh, wigs and multiple wigs. Sheriff, presumably he was in this area since the day. We are in this area presumably since May 3rd, almost a week. Um, what other interactions have you been able to trace? If they were here that long, surely there were other businesses or whatever that they would have... Well, we, to that point, uh, just like yesterday, there's hundreds of tips that come in. Someone claims they've seen the suspects, but we've had people claim they saw them in Richmond, Indiana, and we just go through every single tip. But from my standpoint, we've got the case solved. We've got a person deceased. We have another person in custody heading back to Alabama. That's my concern. Hey, Sheriff, uh, when uh, we hear that when he was getting pulled up, when he was coming out of the car, he said, my wife is dead and I didn't do it. Uh, do we know if that's true and were they married? They were not married. They shared the same last name. And our preliminary investigation, we don't believe he shot her. But once the coroner examines the, the body for pathology, to make a determination of that. Sheriff, did, how do you know that he was aiming Casey White to have some sort of violent confrontation with police? Obviously, you showed that arsenal of weapons that was inside the car. Did he express in your interviews with Casey any desire to do that? Yes. He said that he was probably going to have a shootout uh, in, in, at the stake of both of them losing their lives. Sheriff, did they have a plan? Were they trying to get somewhere? Obviously, he wanted to escape. Uh, their plan was pretty faulty. Their criminals, their plan was faulty, and it failed. Thank Did God. he say anything about why she shot herself? Well, no. And once again, what was going through her mind, I have no idea. Sheriff, Sheriff. did he express how long that relationship had gone on between the two? And that, that's under our investigation. We're not going to divulge that right now. Sheriff, did he express any remorse for her death? No. Did you get the sense they were actually doing this together? Right. No, he was not forcing her. It was a mutual relationship. Sheriff, can you clarify where um, she shot herself? Well, uh, well, we'll let the coroner talk about that after the pathology takes out. When is that coroner's report expected? Well, we think this this afternoon. But well, we're going to initiate this afternoon. Yeah. So the 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 autopsy will be conducted this afternoon, and they'll, they'll put a report out when they're ready. Hey, Sheriff. Uh, No, we saw the uh, Cadillac in surveillance video uh, at the time they ditched the pickup truck when they left it. Is he cooperating with you in case We're not going to charge him here. He has much more serious charges in Alabama. We want to get down there and let them take care of him. Were any drugs found, Sheriff? We haven't found any drugs. Sheriff, you, you run a jail. How do you feel that somebody that's working in jail, or not in jail, but somebody that's working well, it's uh, certainly unpleasant thought, and it's kind of shocking that somebody would do that. But uh, remember, they're human beings, that they have their own minds, and for whatever reason, that they've developed some type of relationship. And so it's startling. 
but, you know, their humans make mistakes. Sheriff, how many law enforcement vehicles were damaged? Uh, maybe three at most. And that's a small price to pay to stop a murderer. Were any officers hurt? Uh, just one had a, uh, a, a slight head injury from banging his head inside the vehicle, but he's okay. Where did she get the gun that she used on herself? What's that? Where did she get the gun that she used on Well, I, I have no idea. If, if she could have had one from her agency. They could have stolen some. They could have bought some. And, and that's where we're going to piece on the gun. If you want to look, here's the pictures of the vehicle. Here's her his and hers vehicle here <clears throat> and, and this was a ditch that really nobody knew including the suspects but this ditch actually helped us in the pursuit because as they forcibly rammed the vehicles it turned over on its side and that disrupted his plan to try to have a shootout with law enforcement and he even made that statement situation is that our task force members routinely go out and arrest violent felons, murderers, and they get shot at and they get attacked, they get resisted, we get involved in pursuits. We're in a very dangerous occupation. And Evansville, Indiana is a fairly large community. I think people forget that. We're 180,000 people and we're a hub of a very large demographic area, so we serve a population base of over 350,000 people. And it's conducive for criminal activity. And we have to be prepared for that every single day. Sheriff, do you know anything about the provenance of any of those weapons? Is it possible that any of them were part of her service as a corrections officer? It could be, but right now uh, we will continue our investigation, but that's the least of my worries at this time. But we will try to find an origin for each and every one of these weapons. And during his cooperative uh, interview last night, did he say anything along the lines of who planned this and how much planning went into it? Yeah, but I'm not going to get into the interview with the detectives. Where did the money come from? Do we know that? Well, she supposedly maybe sold a home before she left town and got a large sum of money. Was there, oops, I'm sorry. Was there any negotiation with Vicki before she shot herself? Was it what? Any negotiation? Did you have any communication before she shot? Uh, I, I think she may have had a little bit of communication with our dispatch, possibly. I wasn't aware of it 100%, but I think she may have been talking to uh, our dispatch. Was so Casey White a, uh, injured? Police ordered uh, issue taser there in that photo. That's from her duty belt. This is her duty belt she wore as a confinement officer, correction officer in her home state of Alabama. Sure. She just took that with her when she left. And were those in the hotel room or the car? The, the guns? Was she in wearing car, that belt? Car. In the car. They were in the vehicle. Hey, Sheriff, uh, after you guys seen the initial video uh, at the car wash, what was the indication? That, how did you guys figure out that they were still maybe in the area? Well, it was, just, it was a long, drawn-out process, like the police chief said. It's just bits and pieces of information kept coming in and tying things together. And it wasn't until over the weekend where it looked like more possibility they had been here for sure. And, and once again, after six days, it was just hard to believe they were here. I, I wouldn't think somebody on the run would stay in a community like that was for six days. But we brought the resources in and continued our investigation based on the information we had. Sheriff, sure, following uh, up on that. As far as in the jail right now, is he being held in the general population or is no, he No, he's just in a holding area. Now, they were at the hotel for quite a long time. Is there any indication at all that maybe the court or someone who works there knew it was them? I mean, this is a nationwide manhunt. Could they have possibly been threatened? Well, or? I mean, we don't have any reason to believe that right now. But once again, we're less than 24 hours in this investigation. We have a lot more of the puzzle put together. Well, how many days was it for at that hotel? Just yesterday. Oh, yeah, yesterday. 
a very Casey, short window of time. Was Casey White injured yesterday and how? He had a couple bumps and bruises from the crash. Yeah. Sheriff, can you confirm that there was a Facebook video that was circulating that had a side angle of the arrest actually taking place? Can you confirm that it was Casey White in that video? I haven't seen the video, but Casey White was at scene, so you got that for sure. Presumably. Also, can you get JPEGs of those posters so that we can actually have a digital version of that when you're showing us? Possible. Sheriff, sure. what was the approximate amount of time after the crash that I think he shot herself? I think it was almost instantaneously. Before our deputies and task force members got to the vehicle, she shot herself. I know you said it used to be a Motel 6. Can you say the actual name? Uh, Motel 41. Is that near, nearby? Yes, probably less than a mile south of here. North, David's actually to your left. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. To the, to the left. I'm sorry. Uh, was that F 150 pre purchased? She had bought that vehicle. Did we see the money? In Tennessee or Alabama? I, I don't know where she, she may have bought it in the state of Tennessee. I'm not sure. But she, did she die? Uh, did she purchase it ahead of the escape, like the other vehicle? No, I think after. Sorry, the marshal said that car was actually purchased by Casey White for six thousand dollars in Tennessee, the same day they escaped. Is that not accurate? That's or probably accurate. Sheriff, can we see you hold the shot of Casey one more time? Okay with that? And I know you've asked a lot of questions, and as the sheriff, I think they're good media related questions, but we're trying to take dangerous people off the street. There's a lot of the where they bought the car and where they did this and that is a minor concern versus us getting them off the street and making our community safe. Now, this investigation will go on <clears throat> maybe for weeks, and we will uncover things in the future that we don't have at this time. Uh, but, like you said, we're, we're less than 24 hours from the time that we were involved in the pursuit and a serious crash and somebody lives in Sheriff, which agencies are involved in the investigation at this point? Several. Uh, we have the United States Marshal, the Indiana State Police, the Evansville Police Department, the Vandenberg County Sheriff's Office, many members of law enforcement from Alabama, Mississippi, some members of the FBI, and, and, and probably agencies in between. So there's plenty of agencies involved. Sheriff, is someone in law enforcement or any of the people behind you who are involved in law enforcement? What about your assistance for this 17 year veteran in a correctional facility? How did that assist? How did that help this and take so long? I, I'm not understanding the question. As someone involved in law enforcement, uh, Vicki White, it's a 17 year long career as a corrections officer. Presumably, that had something to do with why it took so long, over a week. 11 days for this to come to an end. I'm asking, would her expertise have contributed and how? No, that has absolutely no merit to what went on. Zero. Uh, Sheriff, Sheriff, I'm sorry, the, the photos that you released today, are they going to be posted on your Facebook page or? We'll, we'll have photos available for media later. Does anybody else need to comment? Do you have any questions of the other law enforcement leaders here? Sheriff, would it be possible to see the vehicles? To, to, no, not to see the vehicle in person. What about like What's that? The wigs. The wigs. I don't know if we do. If, if, if we do, we can, we can maybe release that. That's not a big deal. It's a wig. It's a standard wig. This is uh, the other oh, yeah, sure, sure. You guys want to take this?
Sheriff, I know it's a weird question. Was it a black wig, long, short? What was she wearing? She's I think there was multiple wigs, kind of like maybe reddish and blonde. Yeah, you wouldn't look good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we thank you. If everybody needs any other questions from anybody, everybody was mingling around for a while. And once again, keep in mind, less than 24 hours, there's a lot of questions that won't be answered until we have a much deeper investigation, get all of our notes and material together. And we also have privileged information that we can't share. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, that was Sheriff Dave Wedding with Vanderburg County, Indiana talking about the capture of Casey Cole White and the death of Vicki White yesterday here in uh, Evansville, Indiana. Uh, you, you can see there's a lot of media here. Obviously, there's national and international interest in this story. Uh, just to recap, uh, the two of them were uh, discovered in this town, evidently had been here six days. They were discovered yesterday and yesterday afternoon and a short chase ensued. Vicki White shot herself. Casey Cole White was taken into custody uh, and is uh, being held here until he will be extradited back to Alabama. Uh, stay with uh, AL.com for more information. Thank you.